the IAB Tech Lab has introduced another technical specification called sellers.json. This is to help ad buyers verify publisher inventory and increasing trust of the supply chain, specifically on the supply side of real-time bidding and programmatic buying. Sellers.json file enables a reliable way for buyers to identify direct versus reseller inventory. Although this type of relationship is also declared or defined in ads.txt, it does not, however, make any attempt at revealing the identities of the publisher account IDs within the publisher's supply-side platform. If you have an ad exchange account, on your ad manager, go to Admin Global Settings, go to Ad Exchange Account Settings tab, and you will find Sellers.json Transparency toggle to turn it on. You have to do this before May 28th to avoid revenue loss. Once turned on, click on Save. Your business name, domain, and publisher ID will now appear in Google Ad Manager Sellers.json file. Business name is what appears under business name and address when you go to billing, payments, and payment profile. For the business domain, only those intermediary domains will be included at this time. You are considered intermediary if you don't own the domain you are monetizing and or not paid directly by Google. One example of which are the Multiple Customer Management Accounts, or MCM. That concludes our video for today. Want to learn how to become an AdSense expert? Introducing PubGuru University School of AdSense. With 36 on-demand videos and over three and a half hours of content, we will help you become a Google AdSense expert. Enroll today.